Hey guys, welcome to the lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to jump into Illustrator with our first lesson about creating flat vector art. Uh, this of course is a multi-step process, but we're going to be uh, building a lot of flat vector art over the next couple weeks with the ultimate goal of creating some infographics for our media design class. Uh, over here on the right is a good example of an infographic put up by the Government of Canada. Um, and you can see it's a very flat vector style, right? So uh, uh, two-dimensional. Uh, uh, very uh, not too many colors, but there's a fair amount of details which just separate it from minimalism, but it is a very attractive way of getting across your art and your message and showing vital statistics. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna change my workspace here. I'm currently working in Essentials, uh, but I don't really want that. So I'm gonna go Window, Workspace, and I'm gonna switch this over to Painting. I generally like working in the Painting workspace uh, whenever I'm doing any type of flat vector art. And what I'm going to start off by doing today is just make a very simple shop, you know, kind of an old school shop that you might see on Main Street. Um, and uh, we'll kind of maybe talk about what type of shop we'll make later. But for now, let's get started by just blocking out the basic shape for our shop. So I'm going to go up to my rectangle tool. I'm going to make sure my stroke is set to none. Generally, when you're doing flat vector, you want no stroke. Or if you do want to include a, stro a stroke to put in some detail around your shapes or your objects, make the stroke color just a slightly darker version of what the fill color is. And then for the fill color, we'll just pick some kind of brown for our storefront. And let's draw out the basic shape of our store. Excellent. Let's just center that. Perfect. Okay, so there's my store shape. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to start by creating my own little custom swatches over here on the right hand side to access my colors more easily. Now you could create a custom swatch panel if you want over here. Uh, but I find when doing quick pieces of art like this, I would just make my own custom swatch panel over here just off the art board. Okay. So there's my general shop and let's go and make a door now. So I'm going to take my door and let's do a nice red door and maybe we'll paint it black later. But uh, I selected my red door there now, make sure I have no stroke and let's create a door for our shop. That should be good right about there. Excellent. Okay, good. Uh, now exactly the same thing we're going to do over here. Uh, let's make a swatch for our door color. And that looks good. Okay, so we got our door. Make it a bit there. Oh, don't want to rotate it there. With my selection tool up here, shortcut key V. I'm gonna grab one of these edges and just drag it in a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. Just go back to where it was. Okay, good. And you can play around with these a little bit more as you're doing your designing. Uh, but that is a good start right there. Okay, next I'm gonna make a window, but more specifically, I'm gonna make the window frame before we make the window, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna go back to my rectangle tool. And let's select kind of a dark gray, a little bit darker, for our window frame. And I'm going to align my window frame with my door. And let's just kind of draw where we're going to put our window about there. Okay. And as always, let's make our swatch for our window frame. Excellent. Now, one thing you'll notice here is my, my window and my door kind of lined up equally along the top, as well as I created equal spacing roughly here, here, and here, uh, it just makes it a little bit more symmetrical. It's nicer to look, look at. So uh, just be aware of your spacing as you're designing your elements in your flat vector. Okay, so now that I got my window uh, frame, uh, let's make a smaller copy of this and use it to create the actual glass. Now, if you wanted to, you could just go and draw another rectangle. But what I find a little bit quicker, and it's a good way to learn some shortcut keys, I'm gonna press Control C. And what that's done is it's copied this shape. And if I was just going to press Control V right now, it would create the copy of this, but it's going to kind of off center it, which is what I don't want, right? So instead, when I press Control C, I'm going to press Control Shift V. And what that does, it copies it and puts it in its place. So as you can see, it is there, but it just made an exact copy of it over top of the existing window. I'm then going to hold down Alt and Shift, and then go to the scale, and it's going to scale it from the center. Okay, excellent. So what I have now here is an internal uh, square inside of the frame here. So let's take this color and make it a little bit lighter to kind of create our window coloring. Excellent. Let's make another swatch for that. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got our window coloring here. And you know what? Let's follow it up and uh, let's have some window on the door here to make it a nice inviting store. So I'm going to select my window over here, my swatch, so I can have that window color. And let's go and draw a maybe like a top window here that looks good let's hold down alt and drag this down to create a copy and then let's make this about equal to where that is there 
Excellent, okay, good. So we got some glass on the door here now. Um, and let's create a little recess actually here in the door. Uh, you know how doors sometimes have recesses on them or it's a kicker plate, however you like. So let's select our red swatch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a darker version of that red for our recess. So let's go M for our rectangle tool. Oops, didn't wanna do that. Excuse me there. Okay, now let's create a darker version of that for our recess, M for our rectangle tool, line it up with this edge, and let's kind of create that point there. Excellent, so once again, watch your spacing. Actually, let's nose this down a little bit to create equal spacing all the way around. Let's nose this one down, just kind of like that. And actually, we're gonna break my spacing rules by a little bit, and you'll kind of see why in a minute. So I've created my kicker plate there, my recess, and I'm gonna hold down Alt, and I'm gonna drag this over. Excellent. Let's drag this over here. Let's make this one a bit smaller. So there's the center, so let's go slightly off center. And let's hold down Alt and drag that over, just like that. Excellent, good. So now we're adding some details uh, over to our shop. Let's make a swatch for that. And the store is starting to come together here. All right, so what should we work on next? Let's do a sign where we would label what type of business we have. So I'm gonna go back to my rectangle tool. And let's kind of pick a, uh, I don't know, what color should I sign be? That's pretty ugly. Actually, that'll work pretty nice, make it a little bit lighter. Okay, I like that. And we're going to make it level with that. Actually, I'm not a fan of that color. Let's change this up a bit, kind of like that. There, that's a little bit better. I like that. So let's make a, another swatch for that color. Okay, looking good. And up here, you'd put the, the title of whatever your store is or whatever uh, product you're selling over up in this area here. Okay, so let's make the roof now. So let's go back to our rectangle tool, pick kind of a dark grayish for the roof. Okay, maybe even do the same color as my window frame. Yeah, let's take that. Okay, let's make our roof there just like that. Hold down Alt, so we scale both sides evenly. Let's go a little bit more, hold down Alt again, scale up both sides. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Store's coming together quite nice. We're starting to be a little bit more recognizable of what we're building. Um, the next thing we could probably do is put a little pull handle, and I'm just gonna do the handle here on the glass. You know, some stores have that. And actually, we'll make the handle the nice same color as this low coloring up there. So let's go down here. Go to M and let's make our pull handle just like that. Okay, that is looking pretty good. Um, so now we could add some more details to our store if we wanted to. Um, maybe let's put some uh, reflection in the glass here. That always looks nice in Flat Arc is having that glass reflection. So I'm going to select my glass color and then I'm going to go over to my glass color here in the color picker and I'm gonna pull it up to a lighter shade of that existing color and then I go to my pen tool and let's create the reflection here. Just give that a little bit of sheen. Okay, that's looking pretty good just like that. Excellent, it's a little bit of reflection hitting in the glass window there. All right, that's looking good. Let's put a uh, let's put a sign on the door actually here. So I'm gonna go to my rectangle tool, and let's do kind of a nice green sign. Actually, let's just pick a primary green over here. Nice green sign, marquee tool. And let's create a sign right about there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna round the edges of that sign just a little bit, kind of like that. All right, that looks good. So let's take that. Hit M. Create another swatch for that. Excellent, okay. We should nudge this over until we're kind of centered there. I do want to... Okay, that looks good. And now let's uh, maybe just make a line. Do we want to make a line? Let's make some lines here. Let's just make this line black. Now when you're making lines, you're not gonna have a fill. You actually need to have a stroke. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right from that anchor point, oops, we'll go right from that anchor point there, line it up with the center, anchor point there, line it up with the center, excellent. And then we can actually go in there, go to our text tool, 
Let's change our text to white, not that. Anyway, sorry, excuse that. Back to my text tool. Let's make our text white. Let's just type open. Text went black, so let's go put that back to white again. And let's hold down Alt Shift and scale it from the center. Okay, looking pretty good there. So we got the open sign up here. Um, now let's go about and make a sidewalk. So let's go back to our rectangle tool uh, for the sidewalk. Let's take hmm, let's take the gray we used on the roof here, and let's take a shade slightly lighter than that. Let's go back to my rectangle tool. And we're going to make a sidewalk just kind of like that there. Now, of course, we have a problem. The sidewalk is now in front of our building. And that's just because whatever layer it made last goes in front of all your other shapes. But we can fix that really easily by right-clicking on this shape. And we're going to go to Arrange and Send to Back. Excellent. Okay, and now let's actually make a quick swatch of that. Let's take the roof color now officially and use that to make our street. Excellent. Okay, uh, let's add some sky now. So let's make a nice blue sky. Let's watch that while I'm at it. I'll cancel out of that. Now, anything you draw outside the artboard, of course, will be shown in the file pro final project. So don't worry about that. Click the sky, right click, arrange, send it back. All right, our storefront is looking pretty good. Um, now, if you wanted to, you'd want to add some more details. You could put some uh, items here in the front window, whatever the store might be selling. You could do some more reflections on the gla grass, uh, on the glass here. You could have a garbage can out front or a bench, uh, have a name on our sign. Um, let's just put some, uh, maybe some uh, grass here behind, uh, behind our store. So I'm going to go to the pen tool and let's pick uh, some grass here and let's just really quickly draw Maybe some hills. So I'm just clicking, holding down the mouse button to create my anchor points to create my rolling hills here. Okay. Let's take that, arrange, let's send that to back. Now it's going to put it behind the sky. So let's click on it one more time, go to arrange, and let's just bring forward one. Okay. Now remember, this bit here will not appear in our final piece of art, but everything in here, we kind of created a background now for our flat vector art. Excellent. So I hope that uh, lesson was helpful today. Uh, next class, we'll come in and do some more landscaping and terrain for uh, in, in the style of flat vector. We will see you all later.